Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today's point of interest is Household Gambrel number four. This is a difficulty tier two POI and can be obtained from the trader as a clear or fetch quest. <laughs> Well, it's interesting because this is marked as a tier two and it really doesn't look very big. Standard mailbox out the front, thanking you. Let's uh, nip round here. We've got a fence and I guess anything hiding here. A few bones, a bit of stone, a bit of plastic, a bit of trash. Interestingly, we have this uh, knackered old tree house here. And up on top, there is a little ammo pile awaiting your collection. Then a nice little, I like this little washing line next to it with some clothes that have fallen off. So we can grab those. Looks like probably our exit so there must be an underground here as well that must make it a bit bigger um a few little gardening areas have been left here some wood to collect and oh look at this a nice little purse come on there we go and inside woohoo ten whole dollars bring it on unlike many of the pois we review as in many of the pois here um actually we're going through the front door and uh wow so uh is any zombie hiding behind there um yes there is uh, i suppose we could just take them out but you know we like to get stuck in here um are they gonna wake up i'm walking over i'm walking over rubbish um uh poor show who is actually coming for me somebody through here that door's locked um hello oh you are oh you're gonna come now Bam! i don't want you puking on me i don't want you sorting me out is that it is that it? Can't believe it. Well, we've had two fellas there. Sometimes we get three people. Anyone hiding in here? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll take you out if you get stuck there. They were hiding in a little bit there. Okay, fine, fine. Uh, let's check it out then. Uh, that's locked. We've got an upstairs as well. Checking behind all the paintings, as we always do. Uh, nothing in the corners. This just seems to be a room of a little bit of cloth. Okay, not much there. In the kitchen. Do we have much in here? We've got a food pile. Uh, always nice. Uh, some cupboards, of course. Uh, hidey holes. Oh, there we go. Another purse here. Uh, come on, get in there. It uh, all adds up. There's another eight eight little coins there. Oh, look at this. How cool. Boom. Boom. Let's get our little uh, jack-o'-lantern there. we got a sink. Nice. Not exactly a lot in there, but they're always nice. A few things in the bin. Another cupboard. Tell you, not a great deal up here. Not a great deal at all. Um, oh, hello. Hello, Arrow. I'll have you back. Um, now, you could think, oh, I'll now nip downstairs. Don't. If you want to kind of follow this properly, best thing is to head upstairs and you get a better and more complete loop. So let's go upstairs, smashing some things as we go. I guess there's someone in here. Hello. Oh, no one in there today. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there is. We'll go through each room individually. Whoa. Whoa, you scared the heck out of me, matey. That's unusual. Big pile of cloth. Don't normally see that in game. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen it in game, to be fair. We have a fancy toilet, but again, not a lot going on. Try this room. Hello, lady. Oh, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. She's on my nightstand there. I'll grab that BDU top any day. Some books. Okay, so that's what this POI is really about. We are going to get a few books from here. It's like a mini book house. But again, there's not a great deal here. It's just the one books. Okay, next room. Hello. Got to be someone in here. Oh, it's a daisy. I just hit the old... Uh, the old blue box deal there. Well, that doesn't matter. I'll just get rid of that. Uh, another purse. Thank you very much. Oh, I love myself a physics piss. Oh, always good. Oh, nice black t-shirt as well. Another cupboard. That's about it. That's it. Oh, more purse. More purse. How many purses are here? Another $12. Great. Got to check behind these. Just check there's nothing hiding. Oops, a daisy. On these little shelves here. We've got some shoes. Uh, just some standard dress shoes, which is okay. And then into this area here, surely. Hello. Oh, my God, blimey, I fell down. Oh, well, we've got the ability to fall down here. There's two ways of getting to this area. What I'll do is I'll just jump up here. Let's say we didn't fall down, but we might do because we might be heading towards here. I just want to show you both routes to the same place okay so one way is to fall down 
And you got a little Steve there, that's no problem. Sometimes there's a zombie here. Anything hiding up above? No. And then we got another room in here, and we can see one of our enemies in the next room. But I do like to not miss a toilet, you know what I mean? A bit of a medical cabinet, la -de da But there we are, so we've got this little room with this fella in, and we can go down via this ladder. But we'll take the standard falling down route. Okay, that's all good, good fun. Check in again for any loot. And in here we have another bookcase, which is great. Look at that, all that gorgeousness. We'll have certainly have as much as that as we can. We come in here and we expect this fella to, to attack. 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 Um, attack. They really don't spawn very well in this POI. I'm not happy at all. But two more bookcases. So your ability to find even more and a pile of books. Yummy, yummy. It's a really good place. So a couple of routes to get through each way. And this is that locked door at the back of the house. Now, the reason I took you this way through is because you can also break this where that fella was standing. If he didn't spawn here, if he spawned somewhere else, you would break through this area. And now we're going to complete it because our end loot is downstairs. Bit of trash up here on the shelf. And then as we come down, well, is this a tier two? Is this going to be all crazy? Can't see anyone. Hello, and here is the craziness. We have one. We have two. Oh, my, oh blimey. We have three. And we have four, all waiting for us down here. But that is it. We have now cleared the area. So, we'll have a look in here. Bit of trash. We've got a laundry basket as well. A washing machine on top of that too. And then as we go round, bish, bash, bosh. Making sure nothing's hiding. What's this? This has got to be a shelf. It is indeed some cupboards. Weirdly, a little produce basket. It is certainly a mix. We have a, a little cardboard box. Another little storage box down the bottom. Uh, even more storage boxes over here and over here. Some cement, as you can see. And it just goes on and on. Another shelf. There's our little exit. We can open this up and we can get out. But before that, let's go in here. More clothes on the floor. Oh, a destroyed workbench. Thank you very much. Trash. More clothes. Another backpack. It is just full at the bottom of all the loot that we didn't find at the top of the house. Maybe a toolbox and even another bookcase. Again, more chances to get some good stuff. We haven't even hit the final loot yet, have we? That's in this room here. We've got wrenchables. We've got stuff to smash open. We've got bones and whatnot, wood. But this is where it's all at. Even a double trash there. So we have a nice food pile, yummy yum. Up here, a small ammo pile. We've got a nice box for me today. That is a savage country garden. So plenty of clothes here and a book in there as well. And of course, my favourite, the leather trunk, which is full <laughs> of some beautiful, beautiful things. The question is, can that be cheesed? And it is right down here. Normally when something is down below in the depths of a POI, you can't cheese it. And I've had a couple of those over the series so far. But you know what? I think I might have a way of trying. It might be very difficult, but it's certainly worth a go in day one cheese mode. Well, you know we love a cheese here on Physics Games, but this is going to be a tough one. Mustn't forget my little uh, mailbox, because that's all part of it, isn't it? But we're going to come round the back. If you find this house, this is where to go. We're going to collect all the goodies from all around here. The little purse, and of course also our clothes, and that little ammo pile that's hiding up over here. We have some good old faithful locals. They're going to try and ruin my video. Go away, lady. And we are going to head towards the back door. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work. But what I'm going to do, is it going to be easier if I just break these two, rather than the door, which has multiple layers of reinforcement. So we're going to knock out this little thing here. And hopefully, if there's a zombie in here, we are going to be able to take it out with a stone arrow. And pop its head off straight away. Remember, I am in a day one mode. And I have uh, no points spent in anything whatsoever. There could also be a zombie behind here. But let's first take this fella out here. A little bit of drop. Bam, he's gone. Um, and then what I think I might do is fire an arrow in here. And if we see a zombie, 
which we just about do Ooh, what would be the best course of action can i slip in there and kick his ass no he comes for it straight away that's okay we kind of have this little bit here we can whack him a few times without him whacking us back but that is certainly worth considering it's not exactly that hard he's getting a bit annoyed but look at that he's gone he's gone so oh, no that's fine that's totally fine i'm gonna break on through here and we are going to get our first set of cheesy loot here. A little bit of work to do. You've got to have those bows and arrows. But we all have a few at the beginning. So I'm staying crouched because I know someone's next door. Uh, no books for me though today in there. In here, well, I've got bicycle handlebars. Very nice to own. And a little bit of mining. I'm going to take out the good old um, little stuff there. I might even take these. But, you know, if you were day one, this is where you get your leather from. Straight off. Make that forge as soon as you can. I wonder how much leather we're actually going to get. We'll have a look in a bit. I unlock this. I see that Steve that likes to be there. I'll get him right up the spine. Ow! Sorry, dude. Right up the spine. And we're in here for our um, little little bookcase there so we could get some cloth we could pick up some chairs grab some wood there's plenty to do here but where's the real cheese well that is just about here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to break on through here i hope i've got the right one it's either that one or this one i think it's this one and when we do we should be able to see the final loot right beneath us there's going to be a lot of zombies down here Already we have a ton of loot. This is good stuff. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at them lined up. We've already got quite a bit. We could be up and gone now. But the question is, is can we get some other loot and jump out of this place without being too attacked? We could spend a lot of time breaking all this out and shoot them all in the head. But, you know, there's, there's cheese and there's cheese. You know what I mean? I just want to get in and out. Um, nice quickie, that's what I like. Oh, let me remind myself to fix that stone axe. And here we are. So I'm not sure about the, the, the leather trunk. I don't think we're going to get that. But if I stay crouched and I go down, does this wake them up? No, it doesn't. It doesn't wake them up at all. So I don't think we're going to get the leather trunk. That would be really crazy. I'll open this up. They still haven't woken up. I'll open this up. They still haven't woken up. I'll open this. I can't believe they've not woken up. Okay. Can I hit this? Oh my god, I can. Was this where the leather trunk was? I can't remember now. Oh my god, I'm balancing on this metal bar. So I'm not entering that zone. I don't know if that helps or not. But, you know, I'll do anything to get my loot without having a fight. Especially when I started the game for the first time. There it is. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. So I'm going to fall onto the gun store box. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I'm just not going to be able to get it, am I? Hmm. Well, what could I do here? I suppose I could shoot this lot and uh, see if I can, you know, do it. Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. You're done. You're dusted. This is our loot. That is it. Let's have a look at it right now. We have got a little bit of wood. We've got some bullets. We've got a few, four books, in fact. Nice puffer coat, bit of food, few mods, and all the business here, which we like. But, of course, we should try this for a laugh. And whilst I'm crouching, do I get enough with my XP bonus? Boom, just one goes down. I'm going to have to get to this fella. Straight in the head. He's coming up. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, dear. I'll get him. He doesn't seem to be able to get me. He's straight down. He's straight down. Okay. I'm going to actually take out this box now, just for fun. Because we're going to see if anyone else wakes up. Oh, my God. Blimey, this is scary. Oh, I can't believe he's not woken up. That's insane. Pop, taking him out. We're grabbing our leather trunk. We're grabbing... Oh, that is some seriously gorgeous goodies. I'm grabbing my stone arrows. And I could go further if I wish. There's only one other person. So if you feel like you fancy taking this on and it's day one for you, well, this is the way to do it. I can jump on the pipe. I can get myself out of here. And there we go. Look at that. That's a beast of amount of loot. It was good. And now it got even better with some padded gloves and an extra mod. And, oh, you've got to guzzle down a good hobo stew, haven't you? So there we have it. This is Household Gambrel 4. Gambrel as in the two kind of slopey sides to the roof. It looks rather gorgeous. 
what should we give it on the cheeseometer? Well, it certainly is a tricky one, but that is a fun way to get in and tackle that POI definitely through this back door. I think I'm going to give this, mm, I'm going to give this a two, a two. I think it deserves two out of four. It is tricky. You can get yourself really caught up there in some serious, horrible pain. But I think that is worth it. That is worth giving it a go. And so are many of these other POIs. Thank you for watching today. Please hit like, comment and subscribe. Because look at the size of this. This is the physics playground. And we are looking at every single one of these POIs. And giving them a full review. Thank you so much. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.